Okay, let's just keep going with that chair business. I have a chair ab curl that we are gonna get into also with a floor variation for some of you. I think you're gonna really like this transition from the chair and also the ability to do this one on the floor. Okay, so again, I love chair work. So we are gonna do a chair ab curl here and I'm gonna break this down for you. This is just gonna hit that lower and upper core together and it's a nice little variation with a cycle with the leg back. So we are then gonna set up here. Again, long arm. Okay, we're gonna take those feet back. We're gonna engage through the core and we're gonna push through the shoulders, push through on the chair, and we're gonna then cycle this leg in and then extend it back, one, bringing it in. And two, we need to shift over into the front of the body. Four, good, cycling it back, squeeze that glute. Five, and six, Good, breathing through it. Seven, engage through the back. Eight, good, and nine. And one more makes 10, I know I love the 10. And I'm gonna just drop this down to give you guys a couple more tips on how to do this. Don't go with a crazy extension to the back. I want you to really maximize that glute squeeze. So we're working through the core here as well as extending back with the leg. We are gonna engage that glute, okay? And as you curl forward, I want you just to think about that nice, easy extension. And no, you don't just do one side. <laughs> So you're gonna do the other side too. Okay, I would be a terrible trainer if I just made you do one side, we'd be all lopsided and wobbly. The world's wobbly enough as it is, so I'm gonna try to straighten you out. <laughs> Here we go, get to it, you guys got this, okay? So as you move through that, I want you to really think about coming forward over the chair a little bit more, that's where you're gonna get a little extra. And we like the extra, you're worth it. Okay, so if you don't feel ready for the chair variation of that ab curl, I'm gonna show you the one from the floor, which is where I started with this until I realized I could transition it to the chair for a little bit of a different exercise. So I'm just gonna push this out of the way um, and I'm gonna go into position here. So we're gonna start in that slightly downward dog position, okay? And then we're gonna travel and drive the knee forward with an extension here. We can extend a little more with the leg here, but I want you to think about keeping it straight on that plane. Okay, so straight up, squeeze the glute, rotate in, and then push back through. And then we're gonna come over those shoulders. So really hit on that plank position and that leg extension with the glute. So as you can see, don't cheat yourself of that forward motion. That is where you're gonna get that extra work for the core and the shoulders. And again, not too high up with the leg, but with this position on the floor, you're gonna have a little more give with that leg and both sides. <laughs> no more lopsided humans. <laughs> Hey you amazing humans. I just wanted to let you know that I run online classes every week and personal training sessions online as well. You can register at my website at fitbitchmichelle.wordpress.com. I can't wait to hear from you.